Have you ever wondered how your phone works, or your computer, or even your toaster? They all have something in common, microchips. Microchips are like tiny brains that tell our gadgets what to do. They are incredibly small, often smaller than a fingernail, yet they contain millions, even billions of tiny parts. These tiny parts work together to process information, just like our brains do. But instead of using thoughts and ideas, they use electricity. Without microchips, our world would be a very different place. No smartphones, no laptops, no video games. So, what are these tiny parts that make up a microchip? The most important one is called a transistor. Think of a transistor like a light switch. It can be either on or off, allowing electricity to flow or blocking it. By combining millions of these transistors in different ways, we can create circuits. Circuits are like paths that electricity can follow, and they allow microchips to perform different tasks. It's like building a giant maze out of light switches. But how do these transistors actually process information? They do it by using binary code. Binary code is a language that only uses two digits, zero and one. In a microchip, a zero represents a transistor that is off, while a one represents a transistor that is on. By sending different combinations of zeros and ones through the circuits, we can tell the microchip what to do. It's like speaking to the microchip in its own special language. Microchips are everywhere in our daily lives. They're in our phones, our cars, our appliances, even our credit cards. They allow us to communicate with each other, access information instantly, and control complex machines. As technology continues to advance, microchips are becoming even smaller and more powerful. Who knows what amazing things they will allow us to do in the future.